identify you. Well, I still need to identify you, so if you don't have your ID on you, you know, do you have your name? Can I get your name? Yeah, I got my name. Can I get it, please? I, I don't answer questions, sir. You're talking with them. Uh, where are you headed, sir? Um, back to Newport. Back to, back to Newport. Where are you coming from? Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is brought to you by the YouTube channel. I'm a law citizen. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. In this video, we'll see a fantastic example of how every passenger should assert their right. Many police officers are familiar with the law, but some are not. Those who are knowledgeable often rely on you being unaware of your rights. This video features an encounter where an officer expected a passenger to be ignorant of their rights. However, once the passenger demonstrates a solid understanding and willingness to stand firm, you'll notice a shift in the officer's attitude and approach. We won't dive into too many details just yet, but trust me, it's worth watching. Let's jump right into the video and we'll discuss more afterward. Hit at the way station. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, which oversees Arizona and several other Western states, recently issued a significant ruling regarding the rights of passengers during traffic stop. According to this ruling, law enforcement officers cannot extend the duration of a traffic stop simply because a passenger refuses to provide their identification. For an officer to lawfully demand an identification from a passenger, they must have reasonable suspicion that the passenger has committed is committing or will commit a crime. This ruling is consistent with the constitutional protections afforded to individuals across the entire United States under the Fourth Amendment, which guards against unreasonable searches and seizures. Passengers in a vehicle are not obligated to provide identification unless there is a specific and articulable suspicion of criminal activity. In other words, unless you're suspected of having committed a crime, you are not legally required to show your ID to law enforcement during a traffic stop. This decision reinforces the principle that law enforcement must have a valid reason to detain individuals beyond the scope of the initial reason for the stop. It serves as a reminder of the importance of safeguarding constitutional rights, even in routine encounters with law enforcement. Traffic stop is with him, it's not with me. It, I agree, but I still need to identify you. I, I don't know what you need to do. You're, the, the traffic stop is with him. I'm just, I'm just a passenger in the car. I need to identify car. you. So whether or not I have to take you down to the jail to identify you, <laughs> or you give me your ID, that's your choice. And, and that's and that's what you want to do to violate my civil rights. Don't listen, don't, don't I have the right listen. to remain silent and just sit here? Your your deal is with him, correct? 
So as soon as the passenger mentioned, I'm a civil rights activist. I know my rights. You could almost see the officer's focus snap right back to the driver. It's like the cop realized uh, I'm dealing with someone who knows what they're talking. The officer probably figured that pushing the issue with the passenger wasn't worth the hassle and decided to stick with dealing with the driver instead. This moment was key. It showed that the officer knew he was treading on thin ice and needed to stick to the basics of the traffic stop. It's a good example of how being aware of your rights can really change the game and make law enforcement stay on their toes. Yes. I okay, so he's, he's the driver. You pulled over him driving. And just to let you know, this is all being audio and video recorded. Okay, so you're being audio and video recorded. I hope so, because your, yours comes up missing. Mine doesn't. Okay. Mine, mine's live streaming right now. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, I'm a civil rights activist. I, I know what my rights are. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a quick inspection. Okay. I need you to turn all the lights on for me. Uh, check all the lights, make sure my first horn. Go to the back of the truck, check the lights there. Same with the trailer, okay? Okay. After I get done checking that, I'll come back up the other side, take a look at everything, then we'll go over some more when I get back up here, okay? Okay. So folks, check out the full video link below in the description. It's crucial for every citizen to be aware of their rights before stepping outside because you never know when you might encounter law enforcement. Knowing how to stand up for yourself and assert your rights is essential if you find yourself stopped and believe it's an illegal detainment. Believe it or not, despite the videos we make, it seems like the issue of overreach has only grown. Law enforcement sometimes oversteps boundaries, so it's more important than ever to be informed and prepared. By sharing these videos and educating others, we can remind law enforcement that their role is to enforce the law as it is written, not to create new rules on the fly. Stay vigilant, share this information, and stand firm in your rights. Together, we can help ensure that everyone is treated fairly and that any abuses of power are called out and addressed. Now, let's watch per second clip. There comes someone like that. The man's in carts, bro. What's going? What's going on? What's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? What's up? What do you mean? Is there a reason why you guys are filming out here? Yeah. Yeah, we can ask a reason why. You can ask. What's the reason? I can decline to answer. Who are you? 
What's up? Who are you? I can decline. Oh, I mean, because you're asking me, I'm like, I don't know who the hell you think you are, but I guess. Now we got another one. That's fat Indiana Jones there. The hey, Indiana Jones! You touch me, I'm gonna knock the, the phone out of your hand. You understand that? I'm not trying to touch you. Oh, you better don't. Cause trust me, I'll let your ass off right now. No, you wouldn't. Oh, touch me then. It's called self-defense. That's what I thought, fat Indiana Jones. Oh, it's a female. Oh. So, it's a female, those are the plates. I fear the females more than the guys. Oh yeah? Yeah. Hi. Morning, morning. Good morning. I don't know, ask them. Yeah, they they told you. me you, you were gonna bring me a Red Bull. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't have any Red Bulls. Oh, okay. Well, they called you guys, not us. You didn't tell them about my Red Bull? All you right. guys are sick, dude. What are you guys doing here? I'll give you three guesses. First two don't count. I can see that you're recording the business. Yes. For what? Personal purposes. Not today. No, not today. Not like today. Pocket knives or anything. I, just I don't answer make questions. Sure with everybody I talk to. Yeah, I don't answer questions on that. Okay. You guys have been staying on the outside of the. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Right. But we're in our arm. I'm not arm. Not today. Okay. Just yeah. project where you have a lot of cameras. For yes. Some yeah. yeah. Okay. Safety project. Let me talk to them. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Right, thanks. Look, you guys can record. Yes, ma'am. You know, that is your right. Um, there that's my vehicle over there, I mean, just in case. Yeah, why are you recording inside my vehicle? Uh, it's public view. Inside. Okay, you want me to go look inside your vehicle? I mean, you can, I'll let yeah. you. I mean, okay, I don't like people by my car. It's my patrol car. I, don't like I wasn't going in there, okay? I was outside okay. the window. Alright, look, you guys, I don't know what you're doing, okay? That's fine. You can yes. record and be on East Street. That's. Yes, ma'am. We knew that. Do me a favor. I don't care if you record me, but can you, like, move your face? Oh, no, no, that's fine. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm good. You guys are so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I like Where you, though. I like you. Do I have a name and badge number? I am. Sharp. I can't read it. Sharp? And then Seven. your name? Or your badge that number? That is my name. Your badge number? Okay, let me talk for a minute, okay? Go ahead. You guys, you guys can be here. You guys can record. Thank you. That's fine. Uh, the concern is uh, it seems like you guys are getting a bit confrontational. Just like I don't know why you guys. I, I don't know what your purpose is. I don't have you here to tell me. It's not First really. Amendment. What's that? First Amendment. Okay. Yes. So why this business? Uh, government contractor. This business government. Yes. Contractor? Has a contract with the like the city. They build like some stuff with the lines. So it's a government contractor. So we can record them. For the pack equipment. Something like that. Yeah, with agriculture, the do Department of Agriculture. What the business does? Yeah, bulbs and all that. What it's on, the, it's on the page, I mean, you go to government contractors in Selma and... What do you have against the government contractors? Nothing, we just hold them accountable. Okay, but you guys can't be... If you're harassing the employees that are coming in They came out. to harass us. Okay. Yeah. Let me talk. Yeah. If you guys are harassing employees coming in and out, and there's going to be people coming out to lunch, then you're kind of causing a disturbance, okay? We're not, they are. I'm telling you that's what could happen. Oh yeah, that's, okay. Yeah, I get you. That's when we would have a problem. Yeah. Okay? So there's also trucks coming in. And here we're so moving. Yeah, we're moving whenever we move back. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. yeah you need to stop yourself out. So are we gonna charge him for 148.5? Alright. Yeah. It's no ill will here. We're not trying to trespass. We've been staying in public property. We never talked to them, they actually approached us. On How long? Basis. Not here. Oh, like every day? Not here. Oh, it's we're about to hit everything here today. I know, but I so we go from, go from city to city doing this. You're not from here. No, absolutely not. Maybe. United States of America. Same. Same. same? Oh, <laughs> congratulations for being free. <laughs> Yes. We do a lot of research. Yep. Okay. Pretty much that's what we did. You got it. I mean. And I can respect you guys Thank exercising you. your First Amendment right. Thank you. However, we just need to make sure that everything's in a safe manner. 
Yes. Okay. Coming in, you can still let them conduct business. Of course. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, we're not gonna stop com commercial traffic. I mean, which is trucks. You know. Were you taunting the employees? No. Okay. They were taunting me. They came up to me. He tried to get aggressive with my camera. Who? The Indiana Jones looking guy over there. He came up to me, he tried to stick his camera. Cause I was holding mine like this, so he tried to stick it in front of mine. So. Oh, and it's a natural yeah, thing. So, don't usually like being recorded. Right. So, yeah. He was actually disturbing my peace and violating my rights by doing that. It's a ton Bainak violation that what he did right there. Is it recording you? Uh, no, trying to intimidate me and suppress my rights for like, prevent me from filming. So he's the one in violation there, not me, I mean. I know my laws. I do this for a living, so trust me, I'm not gonna. Who wants to play those games? Then we'll play those games. I mean, I, I ain't tripping. All right, guys. So you guys are obviously allowed to film from the course open to the public. Yes. You can't block. Oh no. The driveway right no. here. You gotta let these vehicles pass. Yes. You can't harass the employees. No. All right. They were harassing us, by the way. Okay. You can't threaten anybody. No, we didn't. Anything like that. Yeah. All I hope right. it's the same All way right. from them. Yes. What's your guys' names? I don't give out my name. Have I broken any law or anything? No, yeah. Oh, okay, they know. You have ID? Uh, for what? Do you have ID? Do you have ID? I do, yeah. Can I okay. see your ID, please? No, you can't. Can I see yours? Can I see yours? Can I see yours? No, can I see yours? All right. Yeah, that'll be Hey, can you take? give me a ride to my truck over there? What's that? Can you give me a ride to my truck? No, how did you get here? Walking. Oh, you can walk. Are you uh, sick, dude? Man. man. What's your name? Lomeli? Damn, fool. No, chill out. What? Come on, fool. Damn, son. No wonder you got the boy haircut there. What was your guys' issue with the company? Just a government contractor. That's it. We don't have any issue with them. You're just against that in general? No. Uh, what are you guys building for? Project. Okay. Yeah. What kind of project? It hasn't been disclosed yet, so we can give you any background on it. Yeah, but it's a government contractor, and that's why we're filming them. Yeah. And apparently they're wasting our tax dollars there. So we're gonna send this video to the contract that they're getting. So next year, whenever they try to renew their contract, they probably get it denied. So they're gonna go to another company because apparently they don't respect our rights. So they wanted to play stupid and now we play the stupid games. That's how it works here. I mean, they wanna play stupid, I play stupid games. That's okay. <laughs> Can I have a business card just in case? For... I don't have any. Uh, yeah, my name and I need for what, what is it? Wall drop. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank, hey, you. thank you. Have a good one, man. Oh. All right. Why did you have to do that? Though? Later. You're dismissed. Like, hold their vest. I, I mean, uh, I go the same thing, bro. It, it, it makes it feel, feel like comfortable whenever you go like that. So you don't feel like a peasant? Hey, so you're going to give me a ride to my vehicle? Right? No. There's Uber here, though. Maybe nah, man. Just a little walk right I, there. I got you on the Uber, dude. I get 50% off. I got you, dude. Hey, well, have a good day. You guys were dismissed anyways. Long time ago. Yeah. I dismiss you since this instance. Uh, you got triggered, dude. The First Amendment, a cornerstone of the United States Constitution, stands as a guardian of the freedom of speech uh, that extends to recording public officials in spaces where people are permitted. This constitutional protection plays a vital role in fostering transparency and holding those in power accountable for their actions. Despite its clear intent, the interpretation and application of the First Amendment in the context of recording public officials have sparked debates revealing the ongoing tension between individuals' expectations of privacy and the reality of being visible in public spaces. This delicate balance requires a nuanced understanding of the rights of both citizens and public servants. Law enforcement officers find themselves at the center of this delicate balance, tasked with safeguarding individual rights while maintaining public safety. Striking this equilibrium demands a thoughtful approach, emphasizing the importance of de-escalation techniques. The video highlights valuable strategies for diffusing tense situations, recognizing their crucial role in preventing confrontations from spiraling into difficulty. In essence, the techniques showcase serve not only as tools for calming heightened emotions, but also as mechanisms for peacefully asserting our rights. By promoting respectful interactions between citizens and public officials, these strategies contribute to a harmonious coexistence where individual freedoms are protected and authority is exercised responsibly.
as society navigates this intersection of privacy expectations and public visibility, it becomes evident that the First Amendment is not just a legal provision, but a guiding principle essential for fostering an informed and engaged citizen. Embracing the spirit of this amendment is integral to building a society where rights are respected, accountability is upheld, and the delicate balance between individual freedoms and public order is maintained. Yo, that's why I'm here. Excuse you? I, I can say wherever I want to, okay? Sir, you're kind of interrupting what we're I'm doing. I kinda? Here. Yes, you okay. are. Please get out of here. Not get out of here? Excuse you? You can stand what up there. What is your name and badge number? Right here. Martin I know what it is. Badge number. Do you want 125. to retract your statement? As far as? Me getting out of here. Can you please back up? I could. Is this a lawful statement? Yes, it is. So, uh, really? You're, you're going to arrest me if I don't? You're obstructing us right now. Am I obstructing I'm you? I'm telling you right now, you can film all day long. I know Just I can. Please get out of. Don't talk. Is this a crime scene? Is this a crime scene? Yes. Then go ahead, put your yellow tape up. I don't have yellow tape. Right, well, then go get something. Okay. Okay. We're not doing this today. Oh, well, we're doing it right now. Just, just go back to your job. We're here to film this. That's all. You got any more stupid questions you want to ask? No, but please stop interrupting us. Please. Well, stop talking to me. If you engage in conversation with me, I'm going to respond. I respect these gentlemen doing their job as, not, as long as they're not violating your rights. But there's times there's, that officers like this, and this is this quite this happens here quite frequently with the state troopers. They try to hide from accountability. As you can see, this clown right here. You see a little smirk on his face. The smirk. There you go. You see somebody with an iPhone camera and he assumes, hey, they're just a schmuck. I don't want him to see what I'm about to do to this guy, but I'm here to expose it to the world. I'm already embarrassed, it don't matter. <laughs> I'm already in handcuffs. You said I'm on an entertainer. I'm sorry, I'm not talking to you. Sir. Well, you just talked. You just said, "Excuse me, officer. What is your name and badge number?" I don't know what you're talking about. Man. Well, you I don't even know who you are. Well, Why did I you know what he just said? Huh? What did he just say about me? Why did he call me an entertainer? Is that what he said? I would just get real clear. If, if, sir, if you let him explain give me my six piece face, get back. If if you explain things. <laughs> Sorry. Give me my six. Let him face. explain things so we can get this gentleman out of here. Nobody wants you here harassing this guy. I know you don't want me here because I'm protecting this gentleman. You don't want me here? You don't want me on this public property? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Put some yellow tape up. We don't want you here. You sound like a f***ing idiot. This guy doesn't want you here harassing him. Thank you, gentlemen, for respecting my First Amendment. They see. Oh, you don't? Okay. You don't want us here. I got it all. Per his policy, he must give it to me. Look at this guy. Look at this little deputy. He don't want us here. This deputy is about to learn a lesson today. You are going to, hey, hey, cupcake. You're going to do the walk of shame today for, that, for saying that. Do you understand me? You are going to do the walk of shame because I ain't going anywhere. How dare you do it? Well, you don't want me here. Hey, you see how he says he don't want us here? He would love to shake me down, violate my civil rights. He would love to. He don't want me here. Well, what, what legal right? Well, you tell us a legal ground. You don't want me here. Who doesn't want me here? You or the owners of this property that I'm good friends with, that I do business with. If there's a crime, just tell us. We're local media. No, you're not. Like I said, you're entertainers. I'm an entertainer? Yes. You know what you are? What? You're That's nice. It is. I know it's nice. Favor, back up, but how about do me a favor and do your. Metro. This first class Joseph Lombardo. We love Metro. This is the difference between Metro and the Nevada State Police. How much distance? Joseph Lombardo told me personally, I'm, I'm personally, all I need is 10 feet. He said, if you need more than 10 feet, go ahead, put your yellow tape up, correct? Per, is that your policy? Just keep your distance 
right? Respect? Why should I respect them? They work for me. Why should you keep your distance, please? Why? COVID? No, sir, not COVID. Is there yellow tape? Look at the difference between Metro and the state police, everybody. Those are first class right there. He's doing a drive of shame today. I like when this guy says he don't want me here. What's he gonna say when I walk inside his barracks in that publicly accessible foyer area with my camera? Hey, hey, what are you gonna tell me you don't want me there too? I know, I know it's fine. I know it's fine. Which one of those vehicles are you driving? That one, exactly. You see how you answered me? Cause you work for me. You got it? You starting, you starting to understand where we're going with this? Huh? There you go. Look at that, Metro don't even recognize you. I see, I see these Metro every day out here. They never harass me, they never talk like you do, try to block my camera. Can't wait till your family sees you acting like an idiot. Yeah, look at this guy. I got you, bro. Shaking people down. Yeah, 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 dar, dar. Roger one there, guy. I got a camera sitting there on me. Oh, Roger one at all, Roger. And uh, Roger that. Roger that. I'm scared of a camera, guys. Accountability. Not at all. I'm not at all. I got my camera on. I know you do. And you know something stupid? I'm going to be in your barracks, and I'm going to put a, a public a FOIA request in for that film. You better not delete that, and you better make sure that that fucking yeah. camera's running. I can't delete it. I know you can't. You know why? Because I'm your in Boston, I told you not to, stupid. That's fine. I know it's fucking. I ain't backing up off. Back up, please. For what? Because. Six feet, right? Wait, wait, you just got a little bit closer to six, me. Six feet? I thought you said Joe Lombardo said 10 feet. And I'm 10 feet from him, and? I'm six feet from you, right? 10, feet 10 plus 6 is 16, right? Do your math, stupid. I don't have to worry about Metro. These guys are awesome. It's these guys that you got to keep your eye on. What up, brother? Is clown. How you doing, man? Good. How you doing, sir? Good. We absolutely uh, we respect Las Vegas Metro. I have to I have to come over here and look at a real officer because that ain't an officer right there in the blue. That's a coward right there. I know that guy. Please move over there. Curb, you know how far that is? Yes, sir. I do. Oh, that's oh. why I'm asking you to be there. Oh, so that my cameras can. No, your camera will work from there, sir. Okay. I promise. Oh, am I too close? Yes. Put some yellow tape up. I'm sorry? Yellow tape. That's not required, sir. Really. I'm just asking for your cooperation. Is it, is it a lawful order? I'm not order? trying to stop you from videoing, but I'm not going to allow you to instruct or interfere with my Obstruct? investigation. So all I'm asking you to do, I've done this a hundred times. I know, I me it. too. You probably have to. I ain't going nowhere. What's You're your move back, sir. What's your name and badge number? You're going to move back, sir. It's what? Simmons 6811. What's the investigation? You're about to be on the hood of the car. Please don't do that. For what? Just move back. That's so all tell I me why. Is it all I ask you to do is Under move the back. threat of arrest? Are you going to arrest me if, if I you know? obstruct or interfere in my investigation? Where is it? Hey, are you free to go? Is he shut up? Is he free to go? Where is the investigation? He's free. Are you free to go, brother? Now get my back. Is there an investigation? No, I'm not involved. No, I'm not involved. Trying to conduct an investigation. What? Not Where's the one? You. I know you're not. What, what are you accomplishing, sir? What am I accomplishing? Because you're trying to violate my constitutionally protected activity as a member of the Absolutely media. Absolutely not. Then where's the investigation? I violated your this rights in free. any way. Yeah, you have. No, I haven't. I'm over here talking to this guy. Oh, uh, okay. You asked me. So if you ask me, that means I have a right to say no, right? I know. So kick rocks. You do understand I know the laws. Hey, hey, this guy just tried to say I can't. I got to stay away from the car. Hey, now, what, what do I? Where can I go? I asked you. I didn't. Well, say you, you asked couldn't. me. I asked you. Please try to get some space. Why are you so close to me, man? Are you trying some intimidation tactics? We're having with me? a conversation. Well, I, I, I'm not trying to engage that close. The behavior of the police in this situation is truly unacceptable and contradicts the principles of democracy and justice that our country was built on. Filming in public isn't just a privilege.
It's a right protected by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. When authorities um, try to limit this right, they're essentially jipping away at the very freedoms that define us as a nation. As citizens, it's not just our right, but our duty to hold those in power accountable, including the police. We can't stand by and let those who are sworn to protect us act without consequences, especially when they're caught on camera engaging in violence or abusing their power. This incident is a powerful reminder for all of us to stand up for our rights and demand that police officers uphold the highest standards of professionalism and accountability when they fall short it's on us to speak up and make sure they're held responsible. And one of the most effective ways to do that is by continuing to film the police and document any misconduct. These videos aren't just evidence. They're a way to ensure that justice is served and that the truth comes to light. It's crucial that the local police department thoroughly and fairly investigates this incident and that those responsible face real consequences. We need to send a clear message that misconduct won't be tolerated and that officers must respect the rights of the people they're meant to serve. We encourage everyone to exercise their right to film in public and stand up for their constitutional rights against oppression and abuse of power. By staying vigilant and informed, we can help ensure that justice and democracy prevail. Imagine a future where incidents of police misconduct are rare because officers know they're being watched and that they'll be held accountable for their actions. That's the future we should all be working toward. So what are your thoughts on the officer's actions in this situation? Do you think they'll face the consequences they deserve? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe and explore more videos on the channel. Together, we can keep pushing for a fair, more just society where everyone's rights are respected. This video is a strong reminder that citizens have the right to film in public and can refuse to show out unless there's a valid reason. The First Amendment in the United States is key here as it protects freedom of speech and the press. This includes the right to record videos or take photos in public spaces. Although the amendment doesn't specifically mention filming, courts have recognized it as a form of protected expression. This video also highlights how important it is for police officers to be well versed in the laws they enforce as misunderstandings can lead to unnecessary conflict. The man in the video has garnered a lot of support for standing up for his rights, which underscores just how crucial it is to be informed. Knowing your rights isn't just empowering, it's essential. This incident brings up important issues about police accountability and the need for proper training on the laws they're supposed to uphold. In a time when concerns about police misconduct and brutality are front and center, is more important than ever for citizens to be aware of their rights and ready to assert them when necessary. Videos like this one are not just about catching moments on camera. Like there are powerful tools for educating the public and sparking positive change. They show that standing up for your rights can make a real difference and they encourage others to do the same. So what do you think about the officer's actions in this situation? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to like subscribe and check out his channel to show support for someone who's actively defending our rights. Links are in the description.